Hey, how's it going, guys? It's uh, sunrise at Christmas Eve, and uh, you know, I'll, I'll tell you this is a little embarrassing, but uh, you know, I kind of felt like I came from like a like a, sh a bunch of shitty little wormy losers, you know. And uh, one of the things I always tell you about is my mentor is um, he always encourages me to want to hang out and be a part of the good people. You know, I hired this guy and uh, he seemed like a pretty good worker. But, but, uh, Matter of fact, he is a good worker, but his, his girlfriend uh, kind of strangely text messaging me, telling me, oh, man, uh, your, your new worker is a sex offender and a criminal, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, shit. So I Googled his name. Sure enough, this motherfucker is a sex offender. And a criminal who's been in jail. No, he's been in prison. I'm like, damn, this guy, this guy seemed like a really nice guy. But, you know, that whole criminal world and that whole scummy, scuzzy, stupid shit, you know. Just like my own son tried to steal from me, you know. And uh, I'm like, damn, these, these are some scuzzy ass people, dude, little slime balls, like. Then I went to uh, a real shitty town where I used to come from, and uh, I just could, you know, because see, nowadays, I mean, I live in a nice house, I deal with, you know, legitimate people, I, I do good business and stuff like that. And I went back into that real shitty town, I'm like, wow, these are like some really disgusting people, like, these people are really garbage, like, Wow. These are some nasty motherfuckers. And that's that's why my men, that's why I pay my mentor $10,000 a month because he gets me out of that world. He he introduces me to the good people, the clean people, the legal people, the the forthright people, the people who lead more righteous lives. I'm not saying these are you know Maybe they do shit privately or that are wrong or something. I don't know. But all I'm trying to tell you is, is that you can do good business. You can you can have good people for spouses. You can have good people for kids. Matter of fact, I got good workers. Like good good workers. I deal with good customers. I live in a Good neighborhood. I've got good neighbors. I hang around with other people that are like the good people. See, that's the name of the video is the good people and the bad people. Okay, this is true. You know, it's just amazing. And and I'm t I told you before. I I I've been kind of like acting like a I was acting like a scuzzy person because I was dealing with black people. And frankly, the black people are not the good people, okay? The black people are not the good people. The scuzzy white trash and the niggers, they're not the good people. They're dirt bags. They're, they're scuzzy. They don't have integrity. See, black people don't have integrity. They, they're criminals. And that's the one thing that you need in business is you never, 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 never want to seem like a shitbag. You cannot be like that. You have to be. That's why I pay my mentor because he helps me perform like the good people. You have to know how to act like a good person. You can't be mixing down with those scuzzy black people and the scuzzy nasty nasties. And one of the most important things is you have to leave their town. Like, I live out in the country, dude. I'm nowhere near these shit bags. You see this? I live in the country, out in the woods, kind of like. 
This is all. I have good neighbors. I don't deal with filthy people. I'm not a filthy person. So that's how you make more money because people hate shit bags, okay? People hate shit bags. When you're black and you're nasty, they hate that. If you're white and you're nasty, it doesn't matter. People don't like, even shit bags don't like shit bags. You need to be an person of integrity. I told my son, listen, he stole my money. I said, listen, I should be able to put a thousand dollars on my desk in broad daylight, leave it there forever. And if you're a normal human being, you would never touch it. But you took my money. You see that? You're a piece of shit. And that's why you got to go. I'll see you later, man. Don't don't call me no more. So that's that's the problem in life, dude. That's the problem in life. You need to be a person that's trustworthy. If you would you would you would go out of your way to have integrity. And and that's how survival occurs. You have to be able to survive this way. Did you just notice within 6 minutes the sun rose? See how much brighter it is?